Today, I want to talk a little bit about the strategies that I use to reduce my latency when I'm using Jam Kazam. So, tip number one, and very, very important tip, do not use Wi-Fi. Use a Ethernet cord plugged into your computer directly into the modem. And if your computer or laptop does not have an Ethernet connection, you can buy a USB, well, if you're using a PC, I use a PC. You can buy a USB 3.0 converter that would plug into that USB slot and then would have uh, the ability to take an input for your Ethernet. Um, so let's, let's do this. Let's give this a try. Look at the session here and you can see that we are in the red. So our goal here is we want to be able to kind of reduce our latency and make everything here green. All of these are indicators uh, suggesting, you know, red suggesting that, you know, there's problems that you need to address. Um, and then green being the fact that everything's looking great. You're having very low latency. So we want to try to get all of these to appear green. That's our goal. Okay. So one thing we're going to do, like I said, we're going to turn off our Wi-Fi and we're only going to use the Ethernet, the Ethernet connection, which is plugged directly into my modem. So step number one, I'm plugging in my Ethernet cord into my computer. Okay, great. Now that I've done that, what I want to do is I want to turn off my Wi-Fi. Great, now let's reconnect it. Oh, Jam Kazam's doing it. Okay, we've got something happen with the network interface here. Okay, we will get to that. <laughs> so we're, we're still in the red. Still working our way through. Another tip that uh, I suggest is make sure that your laptop is always plugged in. If it's always plugged in, the processor in it is going to be able to work more effectively and have maximum amount of power and efficiency. So always make sure it's plugged in. Um, and what would help too, if, if you have a gaming laptop, I use a gaming laptop. Um, it's going to allow the processor to, to run a lot quicker. I can play um, multiplayer games on this and I can use it on, on Jam Kazam and uh, it works pretty quick. But a tip is make sure it's always plugged in. So let me plug in my laptop. Okay. So I got my laptop plugged in. What else can I do now? Okay, another little piece of advice, change the power settings on your computer. Usually the default settings uh, are not allowing you to take advantage of, of maximum processing power. So to do that, we're gonna go over to the uh, battery option, click on power options. And as you can see here, as you can see here, it's on the recommended HP setting. So what's the difference really when it comes down to this? So let's dive a little bit closer into what those default recommended settings are really doing with your computer. So we're gonna go to processor power management. And when we do this, we can see that it, it operates at a maximum processor state of 100%. When it's plugged in, 100% when it's on battery, and the minimum that it does is 5%. So it's always kind of fluctuating between 5% or 100% when it's on the HP recommended. So what happens on the ultimate performance here? Well, same thing, the maximum will be 100, but the difference is when it's plugged in, it gives you a consistent 100% performance all the time. 
So that is key. We, we want to make sure we have that. We want to make sure it's on ultimate or high performance. It might be, it might be high performance on your computer. Um, let's close this down and let me right click again just to make sure yeah, that this is on ultimate performance. Now you might not have this on your computer. I actually had to change my system at mid configuration to have this option. I will include a link in the uh, description below um, that will kind of guide you through how to get this ultimate performance plan, power plan on your computer. Um, it's a little tricky, so I'll make sure I include a, a tutorial link to that video so that you know how to do it. Okay, so great. We've got an ethernet cord. We've got our computer plugged in. We've changed power options. What else can we do? Okay, so let's take a look at that frame size, which is red. And that seems to be our, our biggest problem. And the tip that I'm going to give you now is one of the most important tips to reducing your latency. And that's getting used to the audio settings, audio booster. So you go to manage, then you go to audio settings, then you go to audio booster. And in this section, you will see an audio frame size you want to perhaps change this so that it's at a lower number. Now, as you make this number lower, it is going to start degrading the quality of your audio. So you want to try to find that happy medium between a great audio and low latency, because when you make it lower, it should improve your latency. So let's change that from 10. I tend to, to like it set at 2.5. Let's see what happens there. And we're looking good. Now we've got green on the frame size. There's one other thing that we can do. If we go back to audio settings and audio booster. There's also the bit rate. Now, once again, same principles. The lower the bit rate, what this means is there will be less information being sent over the internet. With less information being sent, the information will be able to be sent quicker, which will reduce your latency, but at the same time, it will degrade your audio quality. So you're looking for that happy medium. With me, it tends to work best when it's set at 256. Great, so we're gonna do that. We're just gonna hit resync and allow Jam Kazam to kind of reconfigure. Okay. So we're getting closer. Now, what else can we possibly do? Well, we've got a yellow here, consistent yellow here for our gear driver. So what this means is the WDM, that is the driver from my computer. Now the driver from my computer provides me with pretty poor latency. What I want to be doing is I want to be using the driver from my interface. So what we got to do is we've got to change this. And because I'm using a PC, it tends to come up as ASIO. That's the driver that I actually want to select. Uh, I think it might be different on Macs, but with me, for my interface, it, it comes up as ASIO. So let's change that. Let's go to audio gear. It's going to ask me to leave the session. And this is the gear for my computer. That's the driver for my computer. As you can see, that's active. I want to change it to ISIO. Now this will not automatically appear under your gear in, Jam, in Jamkazam. You do need to, when you first initially log on to Jamkazam, you need to configure your interface to Jamkazam. I've already done that. That's why it appears. 
all I have to do is make sure it's active. That switches it so that it's active. Let's go back. Okay. Now, automatically, my um, my my panel, my control panel for my interface now has popped up, and it's suggesting that there are some issues in terms of the configur configuration here. And one thing that I see is that we have a very, very high buffer rate. Now, the higher this buffer rate, the, the more uh, computer processing power is going to be used by uh, my interface. In this situation, and that would be a good situation if you're using, for example, you're doing a, 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 a mix of a song and you're using a lot of plugins, like using compression plugins and EQ plugins, you would need that power to run those plugins. Now, the more higher the buffer rate, the more you're going to have power. But in this situation, the lower that buffer rate, the better latency you are going to have. And that's what we're looking for. We're looking for latency. So we're going to make sure that gets sent all the way to the left, the lowest latency as possible, and we're going to click on apply. Okay, we're going to close this. And we're going to close this. And we're going to see what other issues possible. Okay. Still have high latency. Let's click on resync. Yeah. It looks like we have the ISO selected. Still some red. What else can we possibly do? Well, let's make sure that we have our driver our buffer signals within our driver within our interface you can go to manage then go to audio settings and then go to open asio okay so it is on the lowest setting possible and sometimes all it needs is a resync to allow all the changes that we've actually done to um, for Jam Kazam to kind of recognize it and configure it. There you go, and we are green for every category. Hope this was helpful. Have fun jamming on Jam Kazam.